And we walk by the Spirit, not by the flesh. So what does that mean? It means that we live our lives focused on our spiritual being and not just on our physical nature, our physical needs. I passed by Bobby's barbecue the other day, and it's Memorial Day weekend, and the parking lot was slammed. And, of course, this vegetarian girl said, gluttony is a sin. (laughs) We are not ruled by the body needs, although sometimes if we are, we can become self-destructive, whether that's gluttony, addiction, alcoholism, self-destructive behaviors that may lead us to not care for our bodies as they are the temple of the Lord. Just recently, Matthew Perry, famous for his part in the role on the show called Friends, was found laying face down in the bathtub, dead from an overdose of ketamine, a drug that is often used to treat pain, what pain he must have been in, in his body and spirit, to have come to that place in life where he died from an overdose of drugs. And so sometimes the flesh rules, and either addiction or alcoholism or other self-destructive behaviors lead us into a place where our physical body is taking over, and we are called to live not by the flesh but by the spirit. What does it mean to live by the Spirit? I think of, I go to the gym, I look at those people working out all the time, and they're actively working on their flesh, their physical body. And I wonder to myself, how much energy are they putting in the workout for their spirit? What is your spiritual workout for the well-being of your spirit? Might it be prayer? I loved Ashley's definition of prayer last Sunday. Prayer is not about us trying to convince God to change our circumstances. But prayer aligns us. It puts us in a position or a posture. It aligns us so that we can be aligned with God's purpose and activity in our lives and be receptive to receiving that as we pray. What is your spiritual workout looking like these days? Is it about prayer? Is it about scripture? Is it about silence? A very rare commodity in our culture. Silence where we sit and listen. Is it about breath? The Spirit of God is breath within us. Is it about awareness? Looking for those spirit moments. Wondering, did the Spirit leave that book somehow for me to find? Listening to the small, still whisper of God. The nudgings of the Holy Spirit. My mother wrote uh, for my daughter back around middle school. Uh, she, my daughter had to interview her for a class and ask her all kinds of questions about her upbringing, her ancestors, her habits, her hobbies, and things that she might love and things that she might regret. And one of the things she wrote that she regretted was not listening to the nudgings of the Holy Spirit. What is the Holy Spirit nudging you to do, to think, to say? To say? 